Yeah, it really is desperately difficult to hear the umpire announce the players and call for the match to get underway. So Muen Wong and Ostermeyer nearest to us from Thailand. Left-handed Jai Fan. And the highly, highly talented Chen Chen Chen. Yeah, she is already in the final of the mixed doubles. We saw that our first match of the afternoon. seeds but when I tell you that the Indonesian pair that they beat are currently ranked number seven in the world that just gives an indication of what an achievement it was For a moment, the Chinese pair didn't want to change the shuttle. Well, I'm feeling rather nervous about making any predictions for this because my colleague Morton Frost in the women's singles was absolutely spot on with his predictions and spot on with his analysis. One thing is for certain, though, in my mind, if the Thailand pair want to win this, they cannot do it from defending. They need to get themselves on the attack and keep the attacking play away from the Chinese. And maintaining the attack is the difficulty. Variation of shot, variation of pace, I think, will help them considerably. Oh, that was an opportunity for Ostermeyer. Couldn't quite jump high enough at the net to intercept. for her age. We're doing a bit more growing yet. 16 year olds and quite often a little more growing to do. Certainly they're doing with men, but whether that's the case with women, because women need to reach physical maturity at a younger age, but I suspect she's got a little more growing to do. a very good rally. Now there is a bit of a, a drift in this arena. It was very obvious in the previous match and as we look down on the court, shuttle flying a little bit faster towards that far end, towards the Chinese players. So as far as the Chinese are concerned, and they're smashing, smashes won't go down quite as steeply or quite as fast from that far side because they're hitting against the draft, the wind. It's quite natural in any large arena for the current of air. Air movements from the heat of the spectators here. My goodness, they were all getting a little hot and bothered in that last match. bothers me a little bit that Ostermeyer was so content just to clear there. I'd love to see the Thailand pair trying a little bit more attacking play. Good 
flick serve. My goodness me. Who and what? Completely deceived from that. That's a nice serve. Got the variation. Low serve, the deceptive flick. Now that's what I wanted to see from Ostermeyer. She's a tall athlete. Looks a strong athlete too. And that's nice. Now we saw in the mixed doubles. Ching Ching Ching. A little bit vulnerable on her forehand defence. That's where it was aimed. playing oh. look at that disguise the racket skills and the disguise and the awareness of when to throw in the drop when to play the attacking shot the power play for a 16 year old well I likened her to Margin a little earlier Same sort of build as Margin. the advantage in the game interval, game number one. And the coach's opportunity to impart a bit of advice. Well, I thought it was exciting over the last few months as we've watched the emergence of Bowie Sin and Tang Jinhua. Five tournaments played last year. Five tournaments won. Two tournaments played this year. Two tournaments won. And I thought, well, for youngsters from China, they're in a very healthy state. Now I'm seeing this young pair. And, of course, the other pair that's already through to the final. Well, I think it's a little daunting, perhaps, for the rest of the world to see such talented women's doubles players. It's a discipline that China has really dominated over the last couple of decades, really. Uh, another left and right hander 
playing together in women's doubles. The only pair I can think of, off the top of my head, are the current world number twos from Denmark, Christina Pedersen and Camilla Rutio. debate why it's so prevalent in men's doubles but not so prevalent in women's doubles. No logical reason for it. play. That's nice. Mm, I think I'm probably a little bit guilty of being so struck with Chen, Chen Chin. And, uh, well, she's playing mixed doubles as well and been highly successful here in mixed doubles as well. Not really taking as much notice of Ja Yi Fan. But I can tell you, there she is. She is very talented indeed. Oh. Yeah, good channel attack from the Thailand pair. attack when they use it. Oh, not bad so far, is they haven't used it enough. Oh, no. oh, a number of times they've smashed straight down the line and Ostermeyer has been in the left-hand side of the court. them yesterday defeat Duala Gutta and Ashwini Ponapa the top Indian pair and of course the bronze medalists at the World Championships of 2011 I thought their counter-attack was very good but really it was their variation in attacking play that really did destroy the left-handed Duala Gutta and there you go there's another left and right-handed pair Duala Gutta and Ashwini Ponapa what am I thinking about yeah. You can't tell with this left hander when she's hitting overhead which way it's going to come. She holds that racket head until the last moment. You don't know if it's going to be straight as it was on that occasion or whether it's going to go cross court. Highly talented. Just three points away now from this opening game. Lovely. 
Yeah. It was the defensive play there from the left-handed Jar Ifan, who really did the damage. Played it deep into the forehand corner. And it's set up the short left. 19-12. Oh, another good flick serve. when you have such an advantage you can afford the odd error but she really didn't have to play it that close anything over and in would have been a winner yes super and that's what i'm referring to when i've talked about their good attacking play very well yesterday in the quarterfinals simply haven't seen enough of it so far in today's semi-final. Oh, a little bit of luck for Ostermeyer. across the top of the tape, hit the top of the tape, crawled over, there we go. of asking and Chen Ching Chen and Fan well I believe in my mind we need to command the rallies a little bit more rather than trying to counter attack and just react to what their opponents are doing oh, oh, that's the sort of thing I wanted to see in the opening game variation in attacking play Smash from Chen Ching Chen. Oh, she's used that trick to serve very well throughout this match. taken oh my goodness me well we saw her in the next double semi-final how good she was in defense and i was talking about how there's a weakness on that forehand side certainly no weakness on this occasion look at that forehand defense just turns the shuttle across court into the open space for the outright winner make sure that they stick to their tactical plan just one or two signs that they're getting dispirited and therefore trying something that's a little extravagance there trying to play it too tight two errors on returns of serve in the last two points simply can't afford that score is actually four love to read the game at the front of the court I always wonder in my own mind whether it is just something you're born with that innate ability just to be able to sense where to move when to intercept 
or whether it's something that can be really coached into a player. Now, I'm sure that coaching helps with that development, but with certain players, you just tell they have that uncanny ability to read what's happening. And I think this young lady we're looking at right now, I think she has that ability, which is why I believe she has so much potential. Nice, lovely drop shot from Ostermeyer. Yeah, Very important, the Toyland pair. Keep the score relatively close in these early stages of the second game. They already lost the first and that's excellent play. This is what I saw yesterday with the young Thailand pair against Wutta and Bonapa. Oh, yeah. Well, shuttle deflected by hitting the top of the net cord, but that was good reactions from Ostermeyer on the third shot of the rally. Yeah. What a peculiar start to the second game. Five straight points to the Chinese pair and five straight points to the Thailand pair. Mm, Chinese coach isn't happy. Mm. wide. Well, she mustn't be dispirited by that because I like the idea of mixing it up. We've had three rallies where the Thailand pair have used the centre of the court, that time varying it, trying to go down the line. Oh, yes, there you are again. Now that's exactly personifying what I was talking about, that ability to read where the shuttle's coming, to be in the right place at the right time. That's a, a fine winning shot as well. It's gone wide. Well, the scoreboards here says three... It's at 3 5. I thought, what on earth is going on? All right now. 6 7. Ah! Well, again, Wu and Wong was trying to do the right thing. Smash. Yeah. yeah, super. Back level. Five all. And here we are again. On the square. Eight all this time.
Oh, lovely drive, defence, whipped the shuttle across court over the head of Jai Fan. thing to make an error but the fact that she's trying to do the right thing from a coaching perspective I think is highly promising. Players do the wrong thing, trying to play the wrong shots at the wrong time. Yeah that's nice too. between the scoreboards at the back of the court. It is indeed 10 all. Scoreboards at 9 all. The umpire doesn't seem terribly sure. Ishmael. attack from the Thailand pair converting their defensive play into attacking play the Chinese youngsters in fact that even after the coach has given the instruction they're still talking between themselves talking of tactics talking of encouragement I do like players who take personal responsibility and work things out themselves Oh, that's too flat. That's gone long. Oh. Should be disappointed with that. Mm. Luan Wong, the net here. Just a little too flat. That was the only problem. The direction was good. Going towards the right shoulder of the left-hander. sees the defence and steps into it. Really has this wonderful counter-attack. Takes the shuttle early, blocks it to that. Well, just past the net, but moves forward at the same time to be a threat. Oh, that's well taken. Nicely done. So easy that backhand kill, I can assure you. Again. I suspect 
she changed her mind on the return of serve there, Ostermeyer. Just really popped it up into the hitting zone of Jai Fan. says that defence again. Oh, great rally. that you practice against are also right-handers, but of course there is a difference for a left-hander because of the way the feathers go into the shuttle, so when they hit a, a slice it will create a different sort of a spin to a right-hander's slice. pressure from the Chinese pair and they've opened up a three-point advantage and they're just three points from the from the match now the umpire is calling for the court mopper I think the court mopper well he's leapt off without his mop my housework. Yeah, where she fell over, the perspiration from her legs has been left on the court surface and it can make it just a little bit slippery. We certainly don't want any injuries with these youngsters. Don't want any injuries with any athletes come to that. Oh, what a return of serve. Uh, margins between success and failure. Oh, 
making a comment about the Thailand pair. Two return of serve errors early on in the game. And you hit a perfect winner like that. again maybe signs that Jai Yu Fan a little bit nervous level 18 all Super, super drop shot to end a wonderful rally. Oh, the attacking play, first with one pair, then the other. Couldn't put the shuttle away. The defensive qualities of all four players on court. Oh, for players so young, it is extremely good. Interesting little clench of this there from Nguyen Wong back towards her coach. Yeah. Well, needs to focus on the game, it's all very well, coach is giving advice. But then you've got to switch yeah. back on to the job in hand. Yeah. well to spot that Chen Ching Chen had moved to about the mid-court position center of the court yeah she was right to try and go across courts there was a gap but just overplayed it and that error means that it is a match point opportunity now to Chen Ching Chen and Jia Yifan taken and converted on their first opportunity 21 15 21 19 and it will be an all Chinese women's doubles final tomorrow my goodness the squad that China have brought here just brimming with talent and for this combination in their first ever tournament are through to the final. Once again, confirmation of the score, 21-15, 21.